I want to show you in this video how you can paint an orc checkered pattern. One of the more prominent designs you're going to find in an orc army is the infamous checkered pattern. It looks great and can add real character to your miniatures and army, but it can be a real pain to paint. But I want to show you how easy it can be. I'm going to show you the classic black and white scheme, but you can use whatever colour you want to use and the method is still going to be the same. Let's get started. Here are the paints I'm going to be using in this tutorial. I always start with the lighter colour as it's easier to paint the dark colours over the lighter colours first. I'm using Corax white for the base colour and paint this cover in the whole area I want the checkered pattern to be. It's always a good idea to thin your paints first and I find an equal amount of water does the trick. You want to paint a couple of thin layers, this will give you a nice smooth even finish to work from. You now want to rough out a grid to mark out the squares. It's up to you how big or small you want to make these, so use this step to decide as you can easily change your mind now before you start filling in those squares. Once you're happy with how the pattern looks, you need to fill in the squares. Just pick a random square and then go from there, making sure to alternate each square you paint creating that checkered pattern. As you can see, I'm not being very neat, it doesn't have to be perfect, they're orcs after all. The lighter squares will tend to be smaller than what you want them to be because of the grid we painted at the start. So using some Corex white you can eat up any mistakes and make the lighter squares match the size of the darker ones. To finish off the pattern, you want to go in a final time with your darker colour just to make sure you're happy with everything. Now the main pattern has been finished, it's time to add some grime and make it look a bit more interesting and less flat. To do this, I'll make a wash using Agrax Earthshade with an equal amount of water. You want to cover the whole area and then let it dry completely. Just the once over will do, try not to mess with it, and let it do what it wants to do. Finally, I use white scar to highlight. The easiest thing to do is to just run your brush along any edge next to the pattern. I wouldn't highlight the squares though, as these would just be painted on, and wouldn't create any kind of sharp highlight. The checkered pattern is now finished and hopefully you can now go away and paint all the checkered patterns you've always wanted to paint. If you're interested in how I paint this orc skin, go ahead and check out my tutorial I created where I show you. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and got something useful from it. If you did, please like the video, it shows YouTube you enjoyed it and it'll be shared out to more people. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos on the channel and I'll see you in the next video.